The following video demonstrates the bedside procedure. It is the endoscopist's responsibility at the end of the procedure to flush air and water and aspirate some clean water through the channels of the scope. This avoids pathology solidifying in the channels and makes the nurse's job a little bit easier for cleaning and disinfection. With your suction unit and your pump still turned on, and as long as you're confident that you haven't caused any damage to the scope during the procedure, place the tip of the scope into some clean water and cover and press the red piston down and aspirate approximately 100 to 150 mils of clean water through the scope. You can now turn your suction unit off. With the pump still turned on, place the tip of the scope into clean water, cover the blue button and ensure you had a fab, a steady stream of air running through the scope. Remove the tip of the scope from the water, press the blue button all the way down and ensure that you have a steady stream of water coming out of the distal end of the scope. You can now store the scope on the bracket Turn your equipment off and come back ready for cleaning and disinfection later.